Hello and welcome to the channel. Today's video we're going to be making an adapter to take this manifold so we can accept an inch and an eighth SU. So we're making the aluminium spacer that goes between them. So here's our block of aluminium we've got left over from another project. Now a lot of people put these spacers on and they just machine the adapter, put them on and fit the carburetor. Now you also need to machine out the manifold because if you're putting an inch and eighth carburetor on you've you've still got effectively a three quarter hole in there so you're not really gaining a lot so what i do is stick this on the mill and machine that out so it's at least an inch going in and then it splits off to two sort of one inch paths for the uh, to go into the engine so let's get this on the mill and i'll show you what i do machining this out So you've just seen me in the vise with the die grinder. Now, not that you can see a great deal in there, but this is all rounded out inside there. So we've got a nice flow and it's all open. So the next thing we're gonna do, turning away from the camera, which I'm trying not to do, but it's very hard, is we're gonna be machining this aluminium block upon the lathe. So we're gonna be machining that flat and I'm actually gonna put some um, indents in it the, with the um, cut off tool just to aid cool, cooling and basically to make it look nice when it's on the car. So we're going to machine that, put the lines in it, then we'll polish it, wrap it up and then we'll do the centre bore. So over to the lathe. So you've just seen me on the lathe turn this up. I've machined the centre out. We've we've done that at a taper, so it's inch and an eighth that side and an inch that side. I've marked and centre dotted the holes so they're on an offset, which is what we're doing with this adapter. I'm going to drill the first set of holes all the way through and put the uh, the, the bolt Allen key bolts through, which need to be counterbored so that they're recessed, and then the other bolts will be drilled all the way through again they will be tapped and then I'll lock tight the, th the threads in and then they will have two nuts holding the carburetor on. So let's get on with it. So 
so this is the finished adapter as you can see it's well you probably can't see on the camera because it is that slight I think it's about two degree angle on the center of this to get it from the one inch to the inch and an eighth so the holes have been tapped these threads have been inserted with stud lock on so they shouldn't come out so you can bolt the carburetor on quite easily I've done a little relief cut there with the mill and that just takes up turning away from the camera again that just takes up this screw here so when it's on full throttle it does actually enable it to so as you can see it just goes inside that little bit of a recess there so it enables you to get full travel on the throttle so so that's that side and then when when the allen key bolts are in you can see they're nice and flush so it just fits on nicely and here is the manifold so that's bored out now so that's one inch profile that's bored right down inside we've die grinded the uh, or die ground the uh, the edges off so it's nice and smooth going in there the one thing you need to remember to do on these manifolds as well as boring them out you need to make sure the faces are flat and the same for the carburetor so this I just do on a surface plate which is just a piece of sandpaper basically glued to a board that I run on the bench so I know it's flat uh, the back has been machined off and I've also surfaced that I've surfaced the exhaust manifold as well and then I haven't done this one too much I've left it so that you can just see when I've put this on the surface plate you can see it's where it's been ground around the edge and there's a there's a, a low spot there so I need to do this a little bit more on the surface plate and that will give you a nice flash subsurfaces for everything to mount up together because I know this is flat because this has been machined both sides these have all been surfaced so by the time you've put a gasket between the, the different faces and tightened everything up you're not going to get any air leaks and you're going to get the best performance out of your carburetor so what you'll find is a lot of the time where you're getting air coming in through your carburetor because these are not flat and they're leaking air through the side so that's one thing to just look out for on your carburetors so there we go so here we go we have inch and eighth SU carburetor with the adapter and as you can see like I was saying for that relief you got full travel on the throttle now nothing interfering we've also got if you look at the bottom and whether you can see it but you have got enough clearance to get all the bolts on the manifold so nothing's gonna interfere I know on my other car that's got an inch and a quarter carburetor on it with a bigger um, carburetor adapter on it and I did actually have to machine part of the bottom away to get it to work but it, it all works pretty good so all that's left to do now is bolt that on the engine so which is down there which which I will do and then we're ready to put it in the car when we actually get a bit further with the car so hope you enjoyed the video hope you've learned something if you have please like the video uh, don't forget to subscribe too and catch you on the next one thanks for watching